Telomere syndrome is a developmental disability syndrome. It's probably one of the most common causes of autism spectrum disorder. It's due to a missing copy of the Schenck 3 gene, which is on the end of the 22nd chromosome. We know that this gene plays a really important role in scaffolding glutamatergic receptors. And when you're missing a copy of it, you get pronounced learning and memory deficits. So most of these kids, the vast majority have intellectual disability, they have language impairments, they have motor skills impairments. They also have a whole host of medical features, uh, most commonly low muscle tone, gastrointestinal problems like constipation, epilepsy. So it's a very complicated, sometimes quite severe syndrome, but it's also very heterogeneous. So we can have kids that are you know, minimally verbal and not toilet trained to kids who are verbally fluent and toilet trained even appropriately. Yeah. We're, we're, not, we're not treating, at least as of yet, we're not treating feeling McDermott syndrome. Um, I'm a child psychiatrist, so I think what I tend to focus on is behavioral features. So there, there are kids who are very hyperactive, um, kids with a lot of repetitive behaviors, um, kids that can be super anxious. Um, you know, now more and more we're seeing adolescents that develop mood cycling, you know, even catatonia. So we, we've managed all that with psychopharmacology. Um, but then, you know, they're managed by other specialists, gastrointestinal specialists, for example, um, endocrinology specialists. Um, I guess I should say also, though, that the kind of first line treatment for all these kids really are sort of educational speech speech and occupational therapy um and so that 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 tends to be like that they're really kind of important press at the very beginning especially trying to help kids develop some functional language where that often these kids have paradoxical responses to medicines and so the things that we typically use in child psychiatry and even in development of disabilities people with female derma syndrome seem to do poorly on even to the point of potential danger. So there, it's not uncommon for kids to get a little agitated, for example, and be put on antipsychotics only to get kind of flipped into catatonia. Mm -hmm. It's not uncommon for kids to be kind of highly anxious, even with some obsessive compulsive behaviors, to be put on SSRIs only to be flipped into mania. And that, that's, a, that's a risk that we're all kind of aware of as a field. Um, but it's especially, seems to me anyway, to be especially big in feeling German syndrome. And I wish people were, were more sensitive.